Hey guys, Hi, it's Donna. Donna and Kyla. And today's video is what sold in August and September. So it's been a busy couple of months. Feels like that's the theme of my life lately. <laughs> so I decided to combine the August and September sales um, to show you guys. Now I'm just gonna pick out the items that uh, made the most profit. Um, so you can maybe you can learn and get some ideas, some things that you might pick out at the thrift store. Um, so we'll go ahead and dive in because I have quite a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. Now I did two fun and different things the last two months, just some experimenting. Uh, I love thrift store shopping. It's always like a hunt, but I was trying to find a way that I could still make money and maybe not spend time going around town to all the different thrift stores and yard sales and all that kind of stuff. Um, so how else can I make money from home is what I was <laughs> trying to do. What are you doing? I can see. Okay. Um, so the first thing I thought about looking into was finding um, resale items from retail stores. So a lot of times you see it's called retail arbitrage. Um, but again, I didn't want to be driving around to all these different stores looking for clearance items to flip on eBay. So instead, I started at the Dollar Tree. And I was actually pleasantly happy. Uh, the first item that I got um, sold really well. It ends up being these. These are simple. These are Harry Potter patches. And they're iron on onto like backpacks and t-shirts yeah. and things like that. Hold on a second. I only paid a dollar each for them. Picked up about 25, 26 of them. Um, ended up my daughter kept one of them. And all of them sold for about $10 with free shipping. So I made close to about 4 to $5 a piece on those. Um, so I walked away with almost $75 profit. Uh, in my pocket. So that was a really cool. Way. So always think outside the box. So Dollar Tree is one place to look. I was surprised they even had Harry Potter, um, but they did. So that was one. I've also picked up some keychains since then. I'm kind of experimenting with those right now. So like I said, think outside the box. The other thing I decided to do, and I wanted to keep it a secret until I knew that it would work, is I bought a pallet of liquidated shoes. So that was kind of a big jump. I love shoes. That's where I came from uh, selling on eBay. Um, so I kind of took the risk and paid a little bit of money and went ahead and bought a pallet. It was delivered to my house. It was kind of funny because this huge tractor trailer pulled through my neighborhood and dropped off this pallet of shoes. Um, but I was really surprised. There was only maybe two or three. I think there was 48 in the pallet shoes. These were all Amazon Mom. returns. Um, so I was Mom, thinking that they'd all be used, but they weren't. I think some of them, um, maybe they didn't fit and they offered free returns on Amazon. Um, some of them had some use on them and maybe they weren't comfortable for the person. I think I only had three that were completely damaged that I had to write off. Um, but I ended up making about $400 on the pallet profit. So I was really happy with that. Um, now I've had the pallet for about two and a half months. So in two and a half months, I made about $400. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. It took a lot of time to kind of sort through them though. So I'm still kind of weighing out whether or not what I made was worth my time. So I'm still debating on that. So some of the things I'm gonna share with you today are some of those shoes, but they're really good brands to still be on the lookout for when you're out thrift store shopping. So that's how I wanted to start the video is kind of explain to you guys some of the experiments I'm running this past couple months. Um, and maybe I can do some videos specifically on those things once I become a little bit more knowledgeable um, so I can share that with you. Um, so let's go ahead and look at August and a couple of fun things. What do you think? Yeah, okay. So we'll start with this really fun item. So this item is a vintage like 80s sweatshirt all the way, had metallic patches all over it. And I looked at the tag and it's made by Playmate. So I thought that was kind of odd. It doesn't have anything on the outside of it that you yeah. would know that. Yeah. Yeah. But it'd be great for an 80s party. So let's see here. Party. Only paid a dollar for it, which was another reason I bought it. And I sold it for $30. So that was a great profit. Walked away with about $25 in my pocket. Um, let's see, what else did we buy? This pair of shoes here is one of the uh, pallet shoes that I had. This is Smith & Wesson, which I only thought they made weapons, but they don't. <laughs> they also make these tactical boots, apparently. And they were in great condition. Um, they might have even been new, now that I think about it. Um, so that one I ended up selling for $45. So, and in average, the cost, I just kind of split the cost amongst all the shoes when I did it. It was about $13 for each pair of shoes, which sounds like a lot, but they were really nice shoes in the pallet. So, um, like I said, I made my money back and then another $400, so that was great. Um, so, getting down. Okay. And cut your head off if you're over there. Okay, this next brand I love. Hold on. You can come back over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a rainy, dreary day today, isn't it? Yeah. So this pair here, I love Brooks. Um, these were Brooks GTS 12 Adrenaline. Um, cute little pink and black colors. Only paid $4 for these and I sold them for $20. So that was a really nice solid flip. I love Brooks. Just look them up in the store because certain um, 
product lines sell better than other product lines under the Brooks name. So just be sure to look them up. Um, here's another pair of shoes from my yeah, palette. We'll get up. Look it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. These are Keen, which I know have also sold for me in the past when I find them at thrift stores. These were cool um, Oak Ridge, almost like hiking sneaker. Um, and these I sold for $69. So that was really cool. So that was a really good price. Um, this is a fun sweatshirt. This is by Pink Victoria's Secrets, but it is an NFL line that they were doing. And these were the Titans and it had yeah. um, sequins on it. Yeah, so exciting. Only paid $2 for this. <laughs> I sold it for $20. <laughs> if you're funny. All right, another pair of Brooks. So these are the line called Addiction. Um, and these um, were a pretty blue and purple color. Paid a little bit too much for these probably, but I paid $7.50 for these and I sold them for $25. So I still made a really nice profit. All right, another pair of fun shoes from my palette. These are Skechers, believe it or not. They don't look like Skechers, but they are. It's their brand called Bob. They started this line Bob? called Bob, I know, to kind of mimic the Toms that you hear about. Bob. They have the same style. <laughs> These are fun though. This was a dog line that they did. These are a French bulldog. I had so much interest on them. The problem was the size. I think it was a really big size. So people kept going, do you have more of these? And that was the only one I had. Um, but I did sell them eventually for $38. Um, and some of these are spattered on Poshmark and eBay and some Macari actually. I sold a lot of these shoes on Macari, which was kind of cool. Um, this is such a fun backpack that I picked up. Get down. No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I picked this cute little backpack up thinking I was going to get it for Kyla, but actually I looked it up and had never heard of this brand, but it's a really good brand. It's called Kipling and it looks like a monkey. <laughs> so I thought this was really fun. It was in great condition. Had this cute little monkey keychain that was attached to it. Um, but I only paid $4.47 for this at a Goodwill and I sold it for $50. So that was awesome. I want to get it. Mm. I know. Sorry. I already sold it. Um, another pair of shoes from my palette. This is the Timberland Pro Line mm. Pit Boss uh, Steel Toe Boots. Um, these were, I believe, in new condition. Um, I sold them for $68, so yay for that one. Um, let's see here. Another pair of uh, Skecher Bobs, but these Bob. I got at Kohl's. I was shopping for my daughter um, for shoes, and these were in the clearance rack, and I thought, well, I already had the other ones and the dog, and I had so much interest on them. I picked these up. They're Grumpy Cat, which is really funny. They're grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat. Paid up for them, paid $16 for them, but sold them for $40. So that was cool. All right, keep going here. Um, this pair I picked up at a thrift store. This is Johnson & Murphy. These are a really pretty tan brown suede men's shoe. Um, paid about $10 for these, and I sold them for $55. So, um, Next brand also came from my palette of shoes. Never heard of this before, but I guess it's a specialized... Um, what is it, a hiker shoe, sneaker? Um, this is called Zero, X-E-R-O, X-R-O. I don't know how you can pronounce it. Very nice quality. They were brand new. Um, sold these for $75. They sell new baby on baby. Amazon for, for $100. I so. have a baby right now. Oh. Yeah, you fell at the playground. All right, another pair of shoes, but this is one I picked up in a thrift store. These are Nike. Um, their product line is free. Usually the frees sell really well. Uh, I did sit on them for a little while, paid $2.50 for these and sold them for $20. Um, this is a cute um, sweater. This is by the brand name Torrid, which is for plus size women. It's a black and red um, lace sweater. Uh, I only paid $2 for this. Like I said, I got this at a yard sale actually, um, and I sold it for $18. What are you doing, sweetheart? All the lines of the adrenaline seem to sell well for me. Um, it's okay. These I paid three dollars and forty nine cents for, and I sold them for twenty eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I done here with them. So these are interesting. Um, I would say I've had these for. Let's see if I have it on here. Two thousand fifteen. Two thousand fifteen. It's nineteen. <laughs> Here's why I've sat on these so long. I don't know. But it was a whole assortment of these ornaments at a little tiny um, Salvation Army in my town. Um, only paid 10 cents each for these. And I sold 13 of them in a bundle to somebody on eBay um, for a total of $24. eBay. So total I paid $1.30 for those. And I sold them for $24 and I got to save on shipping because I shipped them all together. So that was really cool. Um, let's see, this next one is a cool vintage. It's a brand called Ski Warm, uh, but it's a wetsuit. Um, and this I only paid a dollar for, so I couldn't pass that up. And I sold it for $20, so that was cool. 
Um, I love these shoes too. These are hookah one ones. Pick these up at a thrift store. This is style is called a Clifton two. I paid $4 for these and I sold them for 40. So that was awesome. <laughs> okay. This item my husband picked up. So I never pick up any sporting goods cause I know nothing about them. Um, but these are a nice pair of Wilson tennis rackets and it came with their own case and everything. And I'm like, okay, whatever. They were $5 for the entire thing. Mama. Sold them for $60. So thank you, hubby. Yes, sweetie. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> All right, so that was August. Those were kind of my cool sales. We'll move into September here and see what we found. Um, Pearl Izumi has been doing really well for me lately. This um, top here, it's the cycling brand. Um, pretty much all of them, not high end, but they always sell for me. So there's still an interest out there. Um, only paid a dollar for these and I sold them for 18. 18. 18. This is a neat random item. This is a camera, a vintage camera that came in the case. Um, it's a company called Yashika Me. Yashika Me. Yashika Me. So bad. Um, and I had a gentleman that asked me a gazillion questions about it. Um, I ended up changing the battery in it, testing the flash for him. Uh, I was really scared because I couldn't really test the camera because it was 35 millimeter, didn't have any film for him. And I thought, I'm going to do all this work. And usually it never turns into a sale, but it did. So that was good. Paid $5 for it and he paid $30 for it. So I still made some good money on that. <laughs> so I guess putting the work in, I still paid That's off. it. That's it. Still have a few more things. Um, another pair of Brooks. This is a line called Pure Drift. Um, these are cute little pink running shoes. Tips. Yeah. Paid $6.50 for them and sold them for $30. Um, this is a vintage Majestics Detroit Lion. I'm vintage. You're vintage? You're not vintage. You're new. <laughs> It was kind of like a sweatshirt, but it also had a windbreaker material on it as well as a combination. Um, only paid $2.25 for that, and I sold it for $25, so that was good. Hang with me, just a couple more things. Um, this item here is a really nice ankle boot by Clarks. My husband wears Clarks for work, and I know how expensive they are, brand new, so I picked these up because they were brand new boots. I'm like, who donates these things? But I paid $5.99 for them and sold them for $60, so that was great. Um, let's see here. This was neat. I don't do a lot of bundles on eBay, but this month it seems like I've done a couple with the ornaments and then now with this. These were four men's shirts that I have been sitting on for a very long time. So I was ready to kind of give them away almost. So I had an offer on all four, which was neat. Um, the total bundle, they paid $33 for it. Granted, I only walked away after the free shipping with about $12 <laughs> and what I paid for them um, because they all were kind of like, about ten dollars total so you know after you pay the shipping and the fees but still it's money in my pocket that i didn't have before and i got rid of some old stock so i thought that was awesome um i'm sorry that wasn't on ebay that was poshmark that was a bundle on poshmark which again i don't think i've ever done a bundle on poshmark okay another fun item looks like i also sold on poshmark this is a rolling stone tote bag um but it has a picture of, of bono on it from u2 um the bag wasn't even in that great of a condition um, but i only paid Actually, this one was free. The lady forgot to ring it up. She put my stuff in it as like a storage bag to carry out instead of using a shopping bag. Um, and so I got it free um, on accident. <laughs> and I ended up selling it for $15 on Poshmark. So that was cool. Okay, the next item here is an item by a brand called Christian Aguirre. They make, I know I pronounced that wrong, but they make the Ed Hardy lines, which is all of the tattoo graphic type shirts and outfits and things like that. But this is really pretty. I wish it was my size because it's purple and <laughs> it's a really cute shirt, um, but it's not. I only paid $2.06 for this and I sold it for $25. So that was a nice sale. Another pair of Timberland Pro Pit Boss from the liquidation sale that I bought. Um, these were used, they had some paint splatters even on them and I sold them for $45. So that was still really nice. Um, just a few more things. This last item here, sorry, not last item, but this item here I bought at a yard sale last year. Um, this is by Waterford and this is a pretty crystal. Um, it sits on your desk and collects like all your extra things, but I also advertised it as a um, jewelry holder because you could set it on your counter or on your dresser or in your room. Um, so I sold this on Poshmark as a jewelry holder <laughs> um, and I paid $5 for this and sold it for $40. So that was nice. Um, let's see here. Here is a, um, a Mara bag, green sling bag. They're healthy bags for your back. Um, so they're really nice. Um, only paid $3 for this and I sold it for 28. Um, another Torrid item. This is a pretty gray plaid skirt. 
with ruffles on the bottom. Only paid a dollar for it, same yard sale that I bought the other one at, and I sold it for 25. And then the last item I wanna share with you guys is this really nice pair of boots. I was actually hoping to get a little bit more for them, but I sat on them for a while. They were used, unfortunately. I was really hoping they would be new. They're part of my palette, um, and they were the high-end boots. Get boots that I thought that I would get the most money for, but I still got a good my, profit on them. On my feet. So on average, everything cost $13 in my palette, and I sold these for $150 on a best offer. So still thought that that was a really good price. So those were all of my sales and all of the fun, exciting things yeah. I've been doing the last two months. So if you guys want to leave some comments below with questions on any of that, um, I'll try my hardest to answer them for you. Also, make sure that you like the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. No thumbs down. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Um, until next time, guys. Happy thrifting.